Hey everyone, so if you're watching this video, you've probably done everything you could to try to revive your Surface device to get it to boot up again. So you're having a problem where you see the Surface sign, but then it boots up into a black screen. Then I'm gonna show you guys how to fix this problem. So if this video helps you out, I would really appreciate if you would subscribe to my channel as that would really help me out. So now let's get started with how to fix your Surface device. Now this particular Surface is the very first Surface Pro, but this fix should apply to all Surface devices such as the Surface Pro 3, Surface Book, and so on. So what you're gonna need is a flash drive. So now we're gonna hop onto the computer and show you what you need to download to get your Surface back up and running. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is plug in your USB drive as that will be used to store the recovery image for your Surface device. So the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is bring up your favorite web browser, and you're gonna to wanna to go to this web page, which is https colon forward slash forward slash support.microsoft.com forward slash en dash us forward slash surface recovery image, and go ahead and go to that website. I'm gonna go ahead and say continue without signing in. As you can see here, this Surface recovery image is good for all these devices. So again, this fixes, even if you have the original Surface Pro or the Surface Pro 4, it doesn't matter. It works for all these cases, including the Surface Book. So we're gonna hit continue without signing in. This can ask you what type of device that you have. So in my case, I have the original Surface Pro, which is this one right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that. And then you'll also need to input the serial number of your device. So I'm gonna show you guys where that serial number is on the original Surface Pro, but if you have another device, you can just select it, such as Surface Pro 4, and it will show you where the serial number is. Okay, so really quickly, I wanted to show you where you find the serial number for your Surface device. So this is on the original Surface Pro. So you're gonna turn it around and lift this stand up. And if you look under the stand, you're gonna see where it says surface. And right under the word surface, it's gonna have some numbers. Those numbers are your serial number. So again, the location may vary depending on the device you have. Okay, so yeah, after you've entered the serial number, you're gonna go ahead and click continue. So after you click continue, you will see an option to download the recovery image for your specific device. In my case, it's a Surface Pro 120 gigabyte that came with Windows 8.1. So go ahead and click on download recovery image. If you get the pop-up blocker, go ahead and say allow once. And then go ahead and click save. All right, so now that the zip file is finished downloading, we're gonna go ahead and click on open to open up the zip file. And then we're gonna wanna hit extract up here. And then extract all. And then you wanna select the folder where the files will be extracted to. Go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and leave it as default and hit extract. Okay, now that the files are extracted, we're gonna wanna select all the files and then right click, click copy. Then you're gonna go to your USB drive and hit paste. So this is gonna copy the recovery files to your USB flash drive so that you can boot up from it and recover your surface. Okay, great, now that the files are copied, you're gonna go ahead and remove your USB drive and you're gonna use it to boot up your Surface device. Okay, so now that you have your flash drive loaded with the Surface recovery, we're gonna boot up your Surface with this recovery flash drive so that we can get it working again. So let's go ahead and plug in our USB flash drive now. Again, this is loaded with our Surface recovery image. Okay, so now we're gonna hold down the volume button and then hit the power button up here on top. All right, so good sign if you see this blue screen, you're gonna wanna go ahead and select your language. So for me, I'm gonna select English. And your keyboard layout, for me it's US. And find this tells you what you wanna do. So what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and go to troubleshoot. 
And I recommend first you try the refresh your PC. That is gonna keep your files intact, but it's gonna kind of reinstall Windows and get it up and running. That doesn't work. You can do a full reset, which is remove all your files. So you wanna make sure you don't have any important files on your Surface device, because this option will wipe out everything and put it back to factory settings, just like when you first got the Surface device. So if you do have files that you need to retrieve from the Surface device, I do recommend that you contact a data recovery specialist. And you can just Google for your local data recovery specialist in your particular area. So we're gonna go ahead and click on reset your PC. And then we're gonna click next. Again, this is gonna put everything back to factory defaults. And it's gonna wipe out everything on this Surface device. So go ahead and choose the target operating. Okay, so when you get to this screen, you're gonna to wanna to select yes, repartition the drive. That's gonna wipe out everything that's existing on the drives. So at this point, you can select whether you wanna fully clean the drive or just remove the files. If you're gonna resell your Surface device, for example, you're gonna to wanna to do a fully clean the drive. Otherwise, if you're gonna stay with the device and you don't have too much concern about people recovering your data even after erasing it from your computer, go ahead and just, so we're gonna go ahead and just select, just remove my files. And you're gonna go ahead and click reset your PC, reset right here. So that's gonna go ahead and reset your Surface device back to the original factory settings. It's gonna wipe out everything and it's gonna get your Surface device working again. All right, so as you can see, you got the Surface device working again. So this video helped you out. I would really appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button. It'll really help me out. All right, thank you guys, and until next time.